Hi, I'm Jason Williford in Dallas, Texas. I always ask other artists where they came up with their ideas for the mediums they're working in or what they're working on because it always strikes me as so funny how I come up with my ideas or what interests me or the, where the inspiration is found. I was sitting at a stoplight with my daughter one afternoon and waiting for the light to change I noticed a Whole Foods billboard that had been bombed by a tagger named Bacon and originally it had said organic land ahead and he input vacant for organic so it's a vacant land ahead and I uh, leaned over my daughter and said what do you think they do with those billboards when they get tagged like that or bombed or and I started thinking you know my mind started wandering and started thinking about well you know what do they do with the billboards after the advertising campaign's over and I contacted the name at the bottom of the billboard and uh, got the uh, the grandson of the guy that had started the company and he asked me what I wanted to do with the billboards and I said I you know I I think thought I wanted to make art out of them but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do yet so that's where the inspiration came I went and luckily enough the uh, vacant billboard I had seen was one of the ones I found at his place and I bought that and a number of other billboards and I started putting them together in different formats started applique and started hand sewing, which I realized wasn't going to work out because you know you'd put a couple hundred hours into a piece and then realize it wasn't what you wanted. So I made the leap and bought an industrial sewing machine, which was the most expensive uh, tool I'd ever bought for for artwork. So I was committed at that point. When I first started with the material, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I, I knew I wanted to do something. I was intrigued by it because it had all these amazing graphics and colors that whole teams of commercial people had come up with to develop ways to get your attention. So uh, I was intrigued that a lot of that work was done for me, you know. So uh, I think I started cutting up pieces and putting them together and then. Uh, more appliquing them, cutting out different shapes. So I was more intrigued by the subject matter or what the billboard was for and what they were advertising. Uh, and then as time moved on, I got less intrigued with that because it was controlling me so much and I wasn't controlling it. So that's when I started to paint on the billboard. And over probably the last 10 years, I have resolved a process of cutting up the material, painting on the material, sewing the material together into sculptural shapes, large pieces, cutting those pieces back up and mixing all the pieces together and painting on them again and sewing them together and then this kind of evolutionary process of recycling the work back into itself where it becomes uh, congruent to itself and so I can do large-scale pieces that no matter how I put them together they're gonna work to describe all the changes that it has gone that the work has gone through since I started would be kind of unfathomable um, it constantly changes. I mean, when you're in the studio working on stuff, you're making adjustments, you're making changes that you're aware of and that you're unaware of, and to calculate all that, oh, I need a computer. Uh, it makes sense to me, is why I'm doing the larger scale installations. Um, these works can inhabit any environment. I think it's scary for some, but intriguing for most. Everyone that from all different walks of life that see the work or see the work being installed are always really positive about it. Uh, you know, as an artist, you're always worried you're going to get the uh, WTF or what is that, you know, and it's, it's more, the response has been very positive.
my goal for this show is to make something amazing and beautiful and that uh, maybe somebody might relate to what I'm trying to get across and I think that's that's always my goal. I think most artists that's their goal in a show or when they create work. I don't do a lot of preliminary sketches or drafting or ideas for what I mean I talk about it like wouldn't this be great or how cool would this be but in actuality the work starts you know when I enter the space or I should say the fun starts the work is the production of all these smaller microbial pieces that make up the larger organism and I'm not going to know what that's going to be until probably after a week of being in the space and uh, you know, hanging up pieces and taking them down and turning them and looking at them. But, I mean, that's the beauty of this work. It's it's uh, it's happening while you're doing it. It's not something that there's a map for it. And so I think that that makes it more alive.